Barack Obama and his family are one of the most talked about people in the world. And they are losing their names. Oh wow. Yeah, the girl. Malia and Sasha, I am most proud to be your dad. Just like her sister, Sasha also started smoking. On Thursday, Sasha was spotted smoking a cigarette after a visit to a wellness center in LA. And guys, this is not the first time Sasha has spotted smoking. There are numerous pictures of her smoking on different locations. It's a habit the Obama girls may have picked up from their father. Barack Obama was admitted to smoking up to 10 cigarettes a day and he has been very honest about his struggles to quit the act. Guys, do you ever wonder what your life would be like if your folks became president? Do you? Well, Sasha doesn't have to wonder like the rest of us. After all, Adad is a former president of the United States. Malia and Sasha, I am most proud to be your dad. Initially, unlike her sister was always in the news, Sasha was kind of the inside child. She was really in the media. But that's not the case anymore though, because these days, Sasha is now even more in the news than her sister Malia. Barack and Michelle welcomed their second and youngest child on June 10th, 2001, and it seems Sasha is now growing into her own as her parents' last child. See, I don't really know how to explain this, but you know the way every last child of every family does. They are more carefree, more relaxed, not too serious, doing whatever the F they want, and just living their lives. Every time Sasha has been pictured smoking, you could just see in those pictures that she, she doesn't really care. She isn't faced by the paparazzi and all. She's just doing her own thing, which is also very understandable considering the fact that Sasha is now 23 years old. The Obama girls are growing up so fast. They aren't those little girls from back then anymore. They are grown adults now and they are living their best lives. Awesome. When you are the child of a former US president, then every little detail about you is a big deal. Yeah, Obama girl. Just like the rest of us, Sasha also has an elder sister named Malia. Malia Obama is the first and eldest child of the Obamas. She was born on July 4, 1998 in the United States. Just like her elder sister, Sasha also got her primary education at the Sudwa French School. Sasha and her elder sister Malia practically did the same stuff throughout their childhood days. Like, they both studied drama and took dance lessons as children. Sasha also took gymnastic classes when she was in Chicago. During her time at the Sudra Friends School, she was a cheerleader and a member of the dance team. And in high school, Obama became captain of her school's cheerleading team. After graduating from Sudra Friends School in 2019, Sasha enrolled at the University of Michigan, where she began taking classes online during the COVID-19 pandemic. Although Sasha has now since transferred to another school, the University of Southern California. Sasha graduated USC May last year and has now moved out of her parents' home as she's now staying with her sister Malia in LA. <sighs> this adult's life, eh? <laughs> No longer facing that same scrutiny, being able to let all of that leave your mind. I'm excited for her to be proud of what she's done because I think that's the most important thing for a human to do is to be proud of themselves. As beautiful ladies in the very eye of the public, do not for one second think that these girls will be single because they are not. We love you the brought Jonas them to brothers. see the Jonas Brothers. Now they're bringing grown men home. Uh, <laughs> before it was just like a pop band. Now they have boyfriends and real lives and all that stuff. Back in 2019, a cute young chap named Chris Milton decided to face his fears and make his prom night a dream come true. Chris also had his primary education at the Tudor Friends School just like the Obama's daughters asked Sasha to prom. Wow, like that must feel nice. There were even reports as a then that the young champ was like slowly walking his way into the hearts of the Obamas. We don't know what later happened between Sasha and Chris, but we don't think they're seeing each other anymore. Sasha has a new boyfriend. As reported in the Daily Mail, Sasha Obama's boyfriend is Clifton Powell Jr. The outlet posted photos of the couple walking around Los Angeles together, along with an exclusive pic of the happy couple cuddling. While the details of how and where they met remain a mystery, it seems likely they got to know each other after Sasha switched schools and moved to the West Coast. The Obama's daughters are generally good kids, although they let loose once in a while. I mean, 
just like that time Malia was spotted smoking or the other time Sasha was all over the news because of a TikTok video she made. At the end of the day, everyone is just trying to live their lives. When it comes to being a fashionista and slaying, these kids are pros. Just so you know, Sasha and Malia have moved out of their parents' house and are now living together in Los Angeles. They do not necessarily wear designers and all, but they slay in their essentials any day, any time. When former presidents and their families head back to their normal life, a given 7 months of transition funding, 10 years of secret service protection, and 13 months of private staff for the salary not exceeding $150,000. So they are not exactly tossed out in the cold. But where do they go? Former President Barack Obama was exceptionally vocal about his living plans after his administration. Though many expected him to return to Chicago, Obama decided to stay in Washington DC to allow his youngest daughter, Sasha, finish her education. With the Obama's net worth of over $40 million, they could have outrightly purchased a property, but instead, they decided to lease a home, an 8,200 square feet mansion in the obscure neighborhood of Kalurama. The $8 million mansion has 9 bedrooms and 8 bathrooms. It is the second most expensive home in Washington, D.C. And while the exterior of the home has a charming vintage vibe, the inside is of a very different vibe entirely, a minimalist modern vibe. Just so you know, we are not home enthusiasts ourselves. So shout out to Mr. Luxury for your well-detailed explanation of the home design. The kitchen features white grey and black accents, which are found throughout the home. Surely, the kitchen has standard appearances. There is also an area in the kitchen reserved for storing books or drinks. Beyond the living room, there are several sitting areas. The window boards attach the outside of the house to the inside with their vintage designs while also spotting the smooth lines and moderate stones found inside of the home. The main living room has a subtle and cozy vibe. The dining room also looks really nice. The bathrooms are big enough, with a busy black and white wallpaper and a great high floor. I like what the Obamas did with the bathroom. I think it's really cool. There is also an upstairs living room, which for me is the most beautiful place in the Obamas mansion. There is also a gym room and a master bedroom with vintage windows and minimalist views. Outside, there is a large courtyard and a backyard with enough space to lounge, relax and soak up the sun. The Obama's mansion is really a beauty to behold. So that's it's beautiful people. What do you, what do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time. Peace.